Welcome to the Vincent Paul Mirabella Second Film Productions YouTube channel. Subscribe and watch the entire video so you don't miss anything. Today I'm going to build from scratch out of recycled items just like I do you know many times in the past for my weapons, for my futuristic sci-fi fantasy time travel saga, the trans metronome device. So I'm going to share this build with you guys today and we're going to use a laundry detergent bottle and we're going to use a juice bottle gun heated up here ready There we go. Step one, got together. We're already looking futuristic. <laughs> okay, all right, those are together. Next step, we're going to uh, put a uh, an extension piece on here. For the muzzle and uh, <clears throat> muzzle and barrel area so we're going to take a smaller juice bottle just like the, the bigger one and we're going to glue those together now later later we're going to paint it all so it's going to look very cool i mean right now it's this is going to be the very early rough stage so so for all you uh kids grown-ups and even, you know, people that are retired and just want to have fun at home, maybe, and you still love this kind of stuff. I'm going to make sure that that's centered there. And remember, mistakes, like a guy that I watch and I like very much here on YouTube, Anthony Ferrara's Create Sci-Fi channel. It happens to him a lot. Mistakes, or you know, he likes to call them happy mistakes because every build is different. I mean, unless you're building something like when I build one of my air cars or uh, my jetpacks and stuff, and then I have to look and try to find, you know, the pieces, the parts, you know, whether I'm making it out of cardboard. You know, plastic, aluminum, you know, or whatnot, you know, for a jetpack, air car uh, build, or the life size. If we look out my window here, you guys can see I have uh, certain, uh, I have the cockpit canopy section out so I could put a foam board in there. And later I'm going to cut that and insert the, uh, I'm going to insert the, the canopy back there and then seal it up and wrap all that green foam board that you see on the sides and then so it's totally watertight I've been working on the cockpit then all the interior stuff like the monitors and the computer stuff the lighting and all that I put that in there because I didn't want it out there with all the crazy weather we've had and get it ruined so uh, I know it's been uh, quite a while I've been working on that air car so everybody has been following and I am very grateful. Thank you all. Uh, my channel here has one and a half million views plus. It's like one million and five hundred and six thousand so far. And it's, you know, steadily rising. But it took a mega jump there last week. It went from... Um, like 700 and some thousand and it shot over to a million one million one hundred and five thousand you know and then since the since then it's gone over over a one and a half million now so anyhow, all right that's set up now see the art of doing this like this now you know then I'm later I'm gonna put a uh, I'll put a you know a whole uh, you know trigger and you know stock I'll, I'll put the whole thing i'll put a, a butt in here 
So I'll put a whole, you know, a whole system in there. So when, uh, so when you use this, you're toying around, you make your own. It's gonna look pretty realistic, you know. The, you know, because on the end here, I'm still going to uh, cut this out and add a, a barrel. Um, I'll probably put one of my metal pieces from something. I don't know. It may be one of my pieces from a uh, from a mop handle or a broom handle or something. A metal piece. Cut it down to size. Boom. Drill some holes, you know, and uh, and then we'll go from there. But right now, so far, we've got a good base. But uh, you know what? Now we're going to take this piece here. I'll add it in because I can. I can bolt it in later so we're gonna add another we're gonna add another piece on here and this is a Keurig one of those Keurig uh, coffee uh, containers so let's you know let's dab this up real quick you know you know, don't have to get real special with it let's put a big old gobbledy gook glob of glue, glue on there yeah, I need another stick. That one's run down in there. So it's all gobbly gooped up. Put that bad boy on here. Turn it around. This is just to give it a little bit of character. And uh, when you paint this, when you paint these type of items, wherever you put the glue, like where I have the glue on here now, to you know get those you know together. When you paint, it'll actually look like, you know, I mean, not like a perfect factory uh, weld or anything like that. But, you know, hey, this is for sci-fi. And it's, you know, maybe this is something from a, a post-apocalyptic, uh, you know, this is a post-apocalyptic adventure pit, possibly. So, um, you know, kind of like um, Mad Max from Thunderdome, you know. You, you know, you don't know what you're going to... Uh, create time to put that stick in there now Run. whoa whoa <laughs> this this hot glue it cleans up really nice and easy thank goodness too because if it didn't the wife would you know she'd be freaking on me but she uses this for her own crafts hold on there barn i'll let you out here in just a minute let me get this situated here Okay, I'm going to put another uh, futuristic style uh, weld on here. Because <laughs> when you paint it, it's, you know, paint it primer gray, it's going to actually look, you know, when you go over it like this. And then, a little wet there, you know, go over it real quick. Smooth it out so that it doesn't. And then, as you can see, when you look at it very closely, if you guys can see it that good, when I paint it, you'll see it even better. But come out pretty nice there. And um, what it does, that way, what it does for the finished uh, product when you paint it. It, it, you know, it truly looks like it was, you know, welded and it looks like metal instead of, you know, ah, plastic, you know. Let's see how strong this bad boy is. I mean, we're going to, we're going to bolt it all together later, but let's see, just with glue, let's see. It might fall apart. If so, we'll just glue it again. Uh-oh. All right, like I said, um... You want to see how strong it is. I didn't really have that much. Oh, he brought a bone and I thought another piece fell off. Now everything stayed together except this. I didn't really put that much glue on there. I should have put a little bit more. So just remember when you are doing this, you know, be, be very, uh, you know, don't be sparing. Be very liberal with the glue. There, it's, It wasn't very much there. So, um. Actually, no, believe it or not, I can use this for some type of sci-fi creature-y, goobly-goop. Now, 
that end piece actually stayed on there. <laughs> that actually, believe it or not, held pretty good. What we'll do this time is we're going to put, well, I was running low, so that's why, you know, we're, this time we're going to put a whole lot on here. We're going to put a lot on. Hold on, Bart, I'm going to let you out here. Look at that. Boy, that's a nice pile. Yeah. And if we need it, we, we got more sticks here, of course, yeah. Make sure you get plenty of uh, glue sticks. Twist it gently, then center it. There, eyeball it. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And when you got it really good, then apply a little bit of pressure. Spin it. And that we don't even have to mess with because actually. The way that's come out, let's see. Wow, that's, hey. Woohoo, that's actually pretty, that's pretty close to the mark there. I need another, whoo, that barrel's warm on that bad boy. Put another glue stick in here. Hmm. Push it in there. Our means. Oh. Run this bad boy across here. And you have an automatic, I mean, automatic, no nonsense, really cool thing here going on. Let me show you here in just a second. Watch out there, barn. Watch your nose, buddy. Don't come up there. I'll put you outside in just a second here. And we're going to un unplug the glue gun there just for safety sakes. You can use water too. I'm just, hey, I'm the only one who's going to be messing with this thing, so. <laughs> Somebody might say, yeah, it's gross. Hey. I'm sure you've heard of spit shining shoes. So if they can spit shine shoes, I can, I can spit shine a sci-fi imitation weld. <laughs> there we go. Throw that away. Little glue remnants. Now the neat thing that we created here by doing this, I'm coming, Barn. Honest, <laughs> I'm coming to get you there. I'm gonna call you up. The thing that we've created now, you know, we'll put a put a barrel, like I said, inside here. Glue it. Make sure it's all you know perfectly straight. Yeah, and once we get it all plumped up, it's nice and straight. Then we'll bolt it. We'll bolt it fast. We'll run a bolt through there. Before we actually do that, we'll actually we'll put a bolt in here. Put a bolt in there. And we'll reach through here with a um, with a long, you know, with a long wrench. We'll hold the end there with the you know bolt head up there and put a you know nut, nut and bolt. Boom, boom, boom. And same thing here, which I was saying we created a little something, something, which is cool, because we've created, you know, this. You know, because it could come apart, which is really neat now. It comes apart. So you can actually design another uh, futuristic style barrel. So you can have several sci-fi laser weapons with one base unit. And then switch it out and have different style, uh, you know, rifling mechanisms on it. And you can do the same thing too when we get to make it a, you know, the whole thing with the, with the butt and the... Uh, grip and trigger assembly and all that when we get there but so far this is what we got here and uh make sure you peel all your stuff off there you know because we don't want you know 
That's good juice. I like that good. That that's good juice. I think uh, I think Donald Sutherland. Yeah, Kiefer Sutherland's father. I believe it's his voice. It sounds sounds like a line. I, I think that's the one who does that commercial for that. But this is just a what you call. This ain't no you know sponsored, paid for anything or nothing like that. So. So I ain't gonna say it, but if you've seen the name, okay, you've seen it. But you know, and it, and it doesn't have to be that. You can use any kind of bottle. It don't have to be a juice bottle. It could be a, you know, a, a V8 bottle or something, anything. You know, and this, you know, I'm sure that you can see, it, you know, what kind of laundry detergent bottle this is, you know. But uh, you can do anything. You you don't have to use exactly what I've used. This is just, you know, this is a design that you know that I have an idea for. So I'm gonna make a butt. You know, I'm going to put a butt in there so it'll actually be a little further. I'm going to get my trigger and end assembly on there. Now, the neat thing about that is... Once this is all put on here... And Barn is very curious. He's like, what is going on? Hmm. He's like, what has interrupted my fetch time? You know, we were playing fetch, and then you decided to make a toy, Dad. Don't worry. We'll play fetch. Oh, look. He used to have a beaver toy, and the only thing that's left is this big, huge, thick rubber. It's like a tire. <laughs> it used to be the tail. The stuffed, the stuffed beaver animal toy. Yeah, mutilated. I had to toss it out. But yeah, this thing here... This is tough, man. He had this ever since he was like two months old. And this this thing's a beast. Oh, he's bringing another toy. Here you go. This boy is a tongue sword. Oh, he sat it down up there. Oh, oh, ready to throw this. Okay, here, watch this. Ready. Oops. Set. Get it. Ba 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 ba. Do 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 do. Hello. <laughs> Throw it! Come on, Paul! You gotta get it off me first! <laughs> oh, okay. You wanna go for a spin? You wanna go for a spin? Oh, he wants to go for a spin! Uh-oh, uh -oh. he gave it up! Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> All right, I thought he had to go potty. You wanna go potty? You gotta go pee? Yeah, you gotta go. Let's go! All right, out we go. Come on. Uh. Made a thing here. If you watched my earlier videos, I made a <laughs> throws it down the floor. Uh, up in the kitchen. Made a temporary. Uh, oh, I'm getting a lot of grays. <laughs> oh yeah, like that's a new thing. <laughs> I made a temporary uh, thing off the uh, porch roof thing here I was building. <sighs> I made this so it would block all the, the high winds. We had that like minus nine, and I was out front of the house doing a. Uh, a bunch of uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme uh, you know, spinning kicks and <laughs> stuff in minus nine. My uh, my good friend, uh, it's also our neighbor, he's like, you're killing me, Vinny. <laughs> uh, he's also starring in the miniseries, the pilot, the miniseries, and the film, too. Jeff, you guys know him if you've watched my videos. But, yeah, here's the, uh, you know... Was the, it was just a going to be a little, well, it is just going to be a an overhang, you know, porch for, uh, you know, just keep the elements off so that when the dogs are outside going potty, they can stand underneath there and keep dry until me or mom let them in. And, of course, continuing to work on the, the air car landing platform and uh, the Nomalos Laboratory, which is in the inside. And if this is new, if this is the first time that you happen to be watching one of my upload videos instead of just shorts, we'll take a walk out here. I got a lot of lumber here. Yet, a lot of lumber and a lot of rubber roof. Because uh, we're continuing. Oh, the Ducks Mansion, too. They got a big. See if they quack back. Quack, quack, quack. They're quacking. I don't know if you can hear in this video or not. Anyhow, uh, we're continuing all this. You know, boom. So if you've seen his shorts, you know about it. Um, I'll climb up this 12-foot 
step ladder here real quick show you there is the life-size magna quadrant air car aka the mqr and uh it's come a long ways for those that have been watching me ever since my uh since my original Facebook pages, you know, my Mirabella Arts page and all that. I haven't been running all that. It's pretty, pretty dormant. I think i got to go in there and... I don't know if you can even get to that anymore because I have been boosting up stuff here for my YouTube channel. And uh, just my regular Vince Mirabella page on Facebook. And once in a while I post a little something, not very much, on Instagram. And I do a shitload of... Oops, sorry about the language. <laughs> I do a boatload of... Uh, TikToks. We have one of the robots uh, that's left. We have him covered up so he doesn't you know, get hit by any uh, strong winds and stuff until we get the uh, the doorway system, <clears throat> the doorway system, and that put in. Got all kinds of wonderful parts here. But yeah, we got to, uh, we got a ramp there too that folds out. Four section. Uh, we got jet jet packs up here jet packs original jet pack and there's the top piece the uh, canopy that'll go down inside the foam once I get that cut and we'll just sit you know we'll insert it right in there and we'll caulk everything and then we'll wrap aluminum you know aluminum around the you know the whole thing and get it all watertight got a lot of stuff to finish on the walls in here too around all the other uh you know gadgetry and stuff but uh i bend all my own metal too i, I do all my own fabrication for everything and i do that i keep my thing of course you know it's all but yeah, yeah put it inside what they call the, the throat and then you, you bend it to the desired angle Voila, that's how you get those pieces on the uh, air car or whatever, too. If you make, uh, you know, fascia or whatever for your house, you know, if you're doing siding and stuff, you know. And that's, you know, that's what it's originally for, but I just chose to use it for my sci fi uh, creations, <laughs> which makes it. Uh, a lot cheaper I mean if I had to pay somebody else to fabricate these parts for my own you know air car and whatnot and the other things I got a lot of other stuff too there's a lot of aluminum parts that I you know I'm bending there's more robots and stuff too uh, at the uh, in the art studio there's more robots and there's <laughs> you know, but we're not going to go to the studio today um, and this video is becoming long it's already 23 and a half minutes long so what i do is i'm gonna pick this up later uh this will give you a chance to get started on your own uh little laser weapon and just stay tuned we'll have an update on my sci-fi my new sci-fi weapon I, i'm starting to become like uh, anthony ferrara on create sci-fi he's always building a a blaster. I think he's built more blasters than anything. That's one of his favorite things to do, and that's one of my favorite things to do. I always love the Star Wars Stormtrooper blasters and Han Solo's, you know, little laser pistol. And, uh, you know, like any kind of sci-fi weapon, whether it was from Logan's Run, Battlestar Galactica, Buck Rogers, they all have their own unique, you know, designs. And I just, I just like it. Every time that you build something, you know, and create something new, it's, uh, you know, it's just like leaving your own little mark here on uh, planet Earth. So that when you uh, pass on to the spirit world, they have something to remember you by. And my favorite scientist of all time, who uh, has really got a, <laughs> he should have got a lot more credit, uh, you know, a long time ago. But... Nikola Tesla. I love reading and watching stuff on Nikola Tesla. And if you look at Nikola Tesla when he was like in his 40s, 
I believe it was when he was like in his 40s, um, late 30s, 40s, whatever. If you've seen some of my shorts and you ever seen the one where I showed a picture of Nikola Tesla and me, you'll see, you know, back when you know, I, I keep my hair cut short. Um, but, you know, if I had a little more, you know, longer hair waving around like his, you know, a lot of people have told me, I mean, I've already noticed that before, but a lot of people have told me that I look like Nikola Tesla. I'll make a new video here, an updated short or something here in the near future, and you can see, but, uh, you know, he got older. I forget how old he was when he passed away, but, you know, I, you know, I look like my father and my uncle Giuseppe and, uh, you know, was my cousin and grandfather. There's a couple people. We all have the same, you know, we could all pass for, you know, twins, clones. And, uh, yeah, if, you know, if you didn't know better, I'm a Marabella. If you didn't know better, you'd think that I was, you know, I was related to Nikola Tesla. Who knows? Maybe I was him in another life. <laughs> Anyhow, watch. I got lots of stuff out there, whether I'm singing, dancing, lip syncing, playing an instrument, building something. Or showing you something that I've uh, shot, and uh, I, you know, I do a little mock-up with one of the uh, the camera phones because uh, I, I do have a couple of them, and uh, you know, I post them out there to keep you informed on how everything's going with the TMD pilot production and the uh, full-length feature film, which I am shooting simultaneously. I like to try to put a few things out there. If you haven't seen the uh, Shakespeare's Castle that, I, that I'm using in the uh, pilot miniseries and the full-length feature film, it's being used for the Silo Estate, Jacqueline Silo, the evil sorceress. And my newest actress there, uh, a few months ago that um, uh, I cast as Jacqueline Silo, because the prior uh, actress, she was not able to, you know... She was sad that she couldn't, but she wasn't able to, to play that character anymore. She said maybe a, you know she'll do a smaller part of something because she doesn't have the time. And Jacqueline Sillo is in every, you know, Jacqueline Sillo is a character that's from the beginning to the end of the Trans Metronome Device book series and the miniseries and films. So when they are all eventually all made, I needed somebody that, you know was, you know, able to sign on for the whole program, and uh, she goes by Vivian. She was able to sign on for the entire thing, uh, contracted with her, and she is officially playing Jacqueline Silla. So if you haven't seen the shorts with her on top of the uh, Shakespeare's Castle, which is the, the, ca the castle of the Silla Estate, uh, check them out. I put a couple little... You know, pieces of music with them and stuff to add, you know, a little uh, character to them. Uh, when the pilot and all that stuff, and you, when you see these uh, on the screen, and, and if you don't get a chance to see them on the, on the big screen, and you see them someday on uh, you know, Blu-ray or DVD, you know, in the privacy of your own home, then uh, you'll see that uh, the, the music that the, the music score that we're uh, working on is going to be out of this world. Uh, and I love music, and I was always inspired by all the different sci-fi, you know, music scores, especially John Williams for all the stuff that he's done, like, you know, for Star Wars and Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know, all the Indiana Jones films. Uh, E.T. Um, way back in the day, I used to watch that uh, Lost in Space. It was black and white, and then, then it switched to color. But he, he went by Johnny Williams. Then uh, Now he goes by John Williams. But uh, he did the theme. He did the theme for uh, Lost in Space. But anyhow, this video is 29 minutes and going on 29 and a half minutes. So I'm going to end it now. And I appreciate all of you. And especially if you took the time to watch this complete video. I really, really super appreciate that. It doesn't cost anything. I don't ask any money out here. You know, I don't have any kind of programs like that. I just uh, want you to subscribe and just, you know, be a faithful subscriber. Watch my stuff, you know, the whole way through. And uh, the only time I want you to buy something is if you come see one of my uh, films when they're completed or if you want to buy a book or something like that. 
So, until the next time, thank you very much. And subscribe to Vincent Paul Marabella Second Film Productions YouTube channel. Over and out.